In this tutorial, I would like to give you an overview on how to create a new presentation within Empower so that you have a good step-by-step -step guide and do not miss out any important point. We use the Empower version 9.2. Starting off with a short overview, these are the most important steps. Whenever you create a new presentation, the first checking point would be to open the desired master template that's stored in the library. We will then check our default settings and presentation settings, want to structure our presentation with the help of the feature agenda, insert elements and thus create our presentation content-wise, and in the end, check if we stay brand compliant and save our work. We will focus on opening the master template as well as inserting elements because we have more in-depth tutorials on creating an agenda and checking our presentation. Depending on the settings on your company, the master template might directly open if you open up the PowerPoint presentation because a company-wide default template is set. If this is not the case for you, you can access any master template stored in the Empower library in the start section by clicking on the button new so that the library opens up directly and navigates to the master template section. We can see if we hover over the master template that we in fact have a company default. So basically whenever I open up PowerPoint on my device, this master will directly open up. Since I've already opened a presentation, however, and I want to create an additional one, I will just select the master template and can either double click it to open up a new presentation or click on the button create new presentation. The master template is now opening up and we can start working on our content. Before we do so, I want to quickly navigate back to the library because this window, again, depending on the settings in your company, might directly pop up once you open up PowerPoint so that you directly choose one of the brand compliant masters stored in the Empower library. So since we now have already opened up our master template, we might want to check on the default settings on the presentation mode and we navigate to the group finalize and click on the split button check to navigate to our presentation settings. When opening up the presentation settings, Depending on the configuration in your master template, you can set additional information such as a page number, for example, or a date that can be displayed right where it has been predefined on the layouts of the master. And for example, add a, add a footer. For example, we call it tutorial create a new presentation. After our Insertion has been checked. We can confirm by clicking on OK. And all the information is stored on all content slides. Slides as have been configured and currently inserted in the presentation. However, this also applies to any additional ones that will be added. Now that we have checked our presentation settings, just a quick recap. We navigate to the presentation settings and the button check and set all the settings, we can start inserting elements from the library. To do so, we can navigate to the insert section and either add a new layout coming from the master template by clicking on the split button slide and create a new slide using all the master layouts. For example, I want a layout with a image option and a content option, and we can further customize this slide, for example. All the placeholders, or at least the majority, again, depending on the settings in your company, are connected to the images in the Empower library in this case. So the placeholders connect to the content that have been stored in the library for you to use, and you can access them by double-clicking any of the elements and inserting them into the placeholder or navigating to the bottom of the quick access pane and clicking on insert. 
In this case, the image has been inserted. You can add a title, this speaks to title, and you can add further content here. For example, I can add a table, and we again see that we navigate to the table section and double click any of the tables we want to use. Check our settings if we want to keep the numbers of columns and rows as it has been displayed right now. If we want to adapt, we just click into the field and add a different number. Or if we want to insert the table as it has been uploaded by your Empower administrators. Once the table has been inserted, we can again click on any of the content. This is a normal table coming from PowerPoint and further customize this slide. This would also apply to all other elements stored in the company library. For example, if you want to use final contents, you navigate here, check all the slides that have been added from your Empower administrators or navigate to, for example, the slide templates. I just hovered over all the icons to demonstrate all the different contents here. Click on the slide templates to use any of the slide templates that have been uploaded for you as an idea on how to create a new slide in terms of display of contents. For example, if you have a matrix, if you want to use this to display certain content, you could do so. And of course, further adapt the content by adding a different title or by navigating to the sample text and use a different more specific information that will be displayed here. Again, customizing the content according to your needs. A short explanation on the edit group. Um, at this point, if you extend the button format, you see that the text and color groups are available. Of course, we are staying brand compliant here as well. So if you open up the drop down menu for the fonts, only brand compliant fonts are available. The same would apply to the font sizes and all the colors that are available in the Empower ribbon for you. You could just click on any of the font colors that are allowed and recolor the content here and further customize your presentation. As I said, I'm not going to go into details. So if we navigate back to our presentation here, how to create an agenda. We have a different tutorial for that, so please check this one out. And we just saw how to insert elements, and we won't go into detail on how to save or check our presentation if it is brand compliant. So this should serve as an overview on how the contents on the master template are connected on the content placeholders to the Empower library, how to give certain information on the footer, for example, via the presentation settings, how to access the master template here, and how to further customize your presentation. Of course, you can also work with the layout tools to rearrange certain contents if required. We have an additional tutorial on that as well. Now it's your turn. Please try out how to create a new presentation and save time by accessing all the contents coming from the master template or the Empower library. And if you seek for further information on Empower, please check our other tutorials.